Bless tribe, welcome to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Happy new month. I know this video is going to be going up on the 1st of October. So, <laughs> Prudence, where have you been? Prudence, why did you just go MI? Prudence, Prudence, Prudence. I even deleted my Instagram app. I'm like, you know what, guys? I'm going to pull me first. You get one thing when I watch and I say, I'm going to pull me first. I'm going to pull me first. Now, what I do, I became selfish. Because the social media, I'd be like, you know when person they dig away, you go here, they dig and they, you know they finish, you go here, they enter, they enter, they enter, they enter, they enter. Anyway, I, I no plan how I'm going to start this video, but welcome to today's video, guys. If you're coming here for the first time, do you need introduction? My name is Prudence. There's only one Prudence on YouTube. <laughs> well, so I think Prudence have been local, yeah. Welcome to today's video, guys. I'm so happy to sit down in front of the camera again after six weeks plus. Yeah, since August. Second week of August. I mean, third week of August was when I went MI. And I didn't do anything for September. And this is... Yeah, so I'm back. How are you all doing? How is life at your end? How is life life feed? You must check up on all the dependents, men and women, check up on them. Check up on the students as well. Check up on families that came in through the school routes. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a roller coaster of different, different things. Well, I think one scripture that I held in this season I'm going to read to you guys is 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. I'll read the Amplified Classic. Amplified Classic says, For no temptation, no trial regarded as enticing to sin, no matter how it comes or where it leads, has overtaken you and laid hold on you that is not common to man. That is, no temptation or trial has come to you that is beyond human resistance and is not adjusted and adapted and belonging to human experience. No, 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 this. Such as man can bear. But God is faithful to his word and to his compassionate nature and he can be trusted not to let you be tempted and tried and are said beyond your ability and strength of resistance and power to endure. But with the temptation, he will always also provide the way out, the means of escape to a landing place that you may be capable and strong and powerful to bear up under it patiently. I got to a place where I went off was I got to a place where I felt like I was drowning. I felt like I could no longer, you know, the center could no longer hold. Everything just gave way. Like, my, my <laughs> I don't want to be using that word mental health because my pastor is like, stop saying it. But like mentally, I felt drained, guys. And plus, we found a house. We thought that, okay, we had settled the house and everything. And then all of a sudden, they said they had given that house. We found, we found another place that we were already closing up on. They even moved the date of the moving. I didn't come for the viewing, so I wasn't able to make a video. But Kay had come and he did a video and everything. I'm like, you know what? Just give us anything. We need to live where we were. And the urgency to live where we were were like two main reasons. First and foremost, the, the, the place we got was a flat that was too small for, well, I would not say it was too small because we would have been able to really stay if we wanted to stay. We would have given out a lot of things because we, we know we, we were coming from a house, so we had a lot of things. So it was really congested, but was habitable inside. But the major problem was the fact that when we, we had to move to Leeds, of course, we're in Middlesbrough, we couldn't come. So it was our contacts here, friends, you know, that were the ones that were doing viewing of houses for us. We found a good place. There was some miscommunication. We lost that one. So, and we had already canceled the contract of the house we were. And you know when you have canceled your contract? they will start they will put up the house already for rent so you have to move out so there was urgency to leave so we took whatever was available and what was available was a two-bedroom flat that was 
on the top floor of the building and that pigeons had built their nest there so pigeon built their nest and the building management is is very poor because i will not say was because it still is very poor and they weren't doing anything about the pigeons so when we were going to rent the place they said because nobody had rented the place they didn't bother to clean it but that they would clean it when we we're going to enter and the person who helped us our family friend said that this is their agency he trusts that they will really clean it so it's okay we'll take you for your word and we trusted that they were really clean and then we took the place when we came inside first and foremost the flat was not clean i'm going to add videos the washing machine was such a disgusting sight the pigeon infested like i'm going to add clips somewhere you guys will see the pigeon situation From the stairs, pigeon on the lift everywhere. Even the building, the gates doesn't lock. There's like bin everywhere. And I'm like, for 950, that's a lot of money. We cannot be staying in this kind of place. Now, we were not able to open the windows. So upon how hot it was, we we're always inside like that. We we'll cook everything inside. The kids were now falling sick because, you know, staying in a stuffy place. Uh, I feel like the flat was somewhere that mold you know, was going to disturb, we, 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 with time, we really, really disturbed with what I saw in the washing machine. And I'm like, you know what, we had a six, six months contract we, we did with them. We're like, we're going to cancel this contract. And when Kay read the laws and everything, it was like, um, the contract was suffered. That was the legal, uh, the contract was being frustrated because they didn't meet their side of the bargain. We called 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 even the windows for them to bring the keys they were not bringing the key at point they make away even the window for the keys they were not bringing the keys for the window you know cleaning the flat was such a big problem so we tried to put the whole place in order the way we wanted it and you know we managed it month one month two chasing them they said no uh, it's a communal area it's not them we need to go and contact council blah, 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 blah. you know they just change their mouth and i feel like all these uh, people all this uh, you know the, the i don't want to call their name but if you know you know the guests of kind of people when they need to follow, they do business for this uk those set of people i didn't even know because them put Oibo person for front. Maybe our black people. I want to talk. Okay, Asians. So they, they, I feel like they are very, very corny. So there's a white person in front of the business that we thought were, was the owner of the business, but apparently nobody should get them. An Asian person. So they now, they, I think they wanted a situation whereby when we take the place, we go follow them, drag, 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 drag. Before they look, six months don't pass, we'll cause okay with they go. But I'm like, you know what? I cannot suffer this. I'm not, I'm uncomfortable. I'm getting upset every time I'm going to work and coming back because the sight of the whole situation, when rain we now fall, ah, just forget it. Papa Edra with my many complaint now. I said I will not be calling Papa Edra. Oh, my, my shirt open. So with my many complaints, Kay was like, okay, he's going to clean it. But it was not a plan that was, uh, it's not, it was not long-term plan. Because how are you going to be cleaning? When I say you get poetry, it was giving poetry vibes, you know. So we, we canceled the contract and then we now have to. That was why we had to urgently move out of the place. And number two, the available schools, that were close to us were all filled up so the only place we found was very far away that was costing us 140 pounds if we only by bus if we use bus some days maybe bus were cancelled you know how the, the the transport system is you don't have to use you but you are spending about six pounds you know or seven pounds just to go and drop in and then come back and we tell you all right would always have to go to school on with k or myself because one person must always be with her so it was just very very not convenient so we are like okay let's really really move now we had now written to them to say we're cancelling and they gave us a specific time to move out of the house now so that was another urgency to move 
And I feel like accommodation in this place, when people message me about accommodation, I always tell people that somebody cannot be able to take house in this place because it's not a straightforward something. And maybe they used to think that, okay, now can we talk or the person no one help me, but it just gets us to day. Not with the way it's a, you know, your day straightforward like that, you understand? So we now, at the end of the day, we found this place. They now moved the moving dates from the particular day we were supposed to move to another day that they were working on the place. Say, ah, which meant we're going to stay above the day that we had agreed with the agency that we're going to move out. Already, I was already getting stressed. I'll take some days off work and I stayed home, you know, trying to see that we'll set up everything. And the next thing, they called me again that uh, the moving day to, I think it was the one. A day to the moving, which was even weekend. So I was expecting that we move on a Monday, and then on a Friday they are calling me to say um, the whole thing will not work, or that because um, they, they needed to check that his reference is working, is earning. And I told them before from the thing that I want to be the main applicant, and I want only my my records to be what will be. You know, the credit checking should be just me. They said no, that is not possible. That the house is, is a, a two income housing kidney. So it was just a lot so they were going to cancel it that they cannot give us that and plus um i'm still on probation so when my company had sent in my reference the way they sent it made it look like oh i was going to stop working in a couple of months that the contract will not be it looked like i'll be out of job by the time the contract will be still on and so they were not comfortable they were not certain that we'll be able to so that we didn't so we didn't pass the eligibility check and they were not going to give us the house. So apparently we're going to be, God forbid, homeless. <laughs> I say, oh, I even put person with, we get a big bed, two, one for the children, three safe. So who wants to pack us and our load into their house? That was the point. I think I was already slowly getting over stressed, overstimulated. It was like things were just happening and happening. The move, I, I, I don't know how to perform under pressure. I don't, anything that's uncomfortable, I don't like it. So I'm like, you know, and then my Instagram was just buzzing. Someone, you know, of course, new people were already wanting to come in. So there was a lot of inquiries in my DM. There were women that, you know, me and them would, would talk about marriage. There was my study group. There were, it was as if, you know, I'm being dragged. Somebody. I had my family to, do, to, to attend to, my marriage, my kids, my job. So it was like everything was just happening and you know, I just broke down. I sat down in, uh, in my office, I just started crying. Everybody said, ah, Prudence is crying, what's wrong with her? You know, it was, it was something that they had not seen me, you know, do and I just broke down. I'm like, I cannot continue with this. My um, front, front of office lady carried me and you know just she just took me to you know we had coffee and just calmed me down and i felt better so by monday first thing in the morning we traveled straight to the office which was very very far from from you know town where we were we went to the agency's office i had to i said okay so what is the other option now at this point if we don't leave this house today we are first and foremost going to incur more expenses that we cannot afford because our house currently a two income house is only one income so our expenses we they got them you know so and i'm like what do we do how do we get past this and the, the, after back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the compliance team, I be what do they call them in the company? The agency we used was Lily and Simpson, and then so really, really amazing. I love how they handled the whole thing. So they now said, okay, that let's use a guarantor. Now UK guarantor earning a certain amount. So UK home. No, no, no. They just wanted someone who has been in the UK for more than three years, you know, and is gainfully employed. And so I found, so not that I didn't have to search so much. I just called Wede, Wede, please, can you help me speak to Uncle Sammy? And da, 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 da. They did it for me. They were also the ones that did for us before. So they filled it in and then we had to move. We did the whole move because I didn't come to the house. Kay was the one that did the viewing. Um, when when we came in and I'm like, ah, 
if not be urgency you know with kids you want to take a house that the stairs is really really not so bad but this one this even as we speak Adriel's bed has been stuck in our bedroom since we moved into this house because the stairs you know how when I will show you guys you know the video of the house when the whole place is set up I'll show you the stairs just goes in a funny way that Elio has, has fallen off the stairs twice or three times because the minute you just remove your eyes you don't run go up we're even going to buy a gate mount safe just to you know be guarding guarding her and all of that but the stairs is just one kind so at the end of the day again we may still move again because the last thing i move in movie we just didn't move to find a see i was telling k i'm like the prayer would be that god provide for us let's just take a mortgage because that i think that that's where we really really have peace of mind because and this place also we wanted somewhere with a garden because of the kids so that they have somewhere to play but of course there's no garden this is like um it's, they, I think they call them terrace. Well, I'll show you guys. I'm not really, uh, I'm not vast in knowledge, you know, of this thing. But yeah, so it was just a whole lot. It was a whole lot happening, and I think that I, I have one of these seasons where I just break down and I'm like, I deleted my Instagram. I wasn't speak to, speaking to anybody. I'm sure some people won't be upset that why is Prudence not talking, which is very, very, very unlike her. I, I easily get anxious when my phone is ringing sometimes. So there were persons that called me. Um, I couldn't speak to at some point. My screen also broke. And so it was just a whole lot that i did i, I never want to begin the explain say okay this is not waiting to happen please just give me some time i'm like you know what everybody just day your day may i day my day first when i feel better when i'm in a better place i'm gonna to speak to you all you know um I, I deleted my app i was able to reply some people before i deleted the app but i couldn't also reply some people because i'd been mia for a while people were already texting i put this very much on like you what's going on what's going on so when the messages were overflooding me i had to delete the app you know so yeah but of course my whatsapp was open because i will always have to speak to uh, my family members and all of that but guys that is it that is the a lot a lot a lot that prudence has been coming you know just coming and dealing with i was i was just in that place and plus i think another thing that really really also made me become you know social media anxious social media anxiety was the fact that i think the last week i posted someone had just written something someone wrote something I think I posted a video where I was not wearing a bra on my story. People know I'm always posting things on my Instagram story. Like that's the, I feel like YouTube self doesn't see have the things that I post on my Instagram story sometimes, but I want to change it now. I will be posting more on YouTube because it's YouTube that I make coins from, not Instagram, you know? So when the person says something, see the way mature lady are just jumping without a bra on your Instagram. And I realized that you all want me to set him, not everyone, but I feel like social media has become something else. It's a place where we go to perform now. I didn't join social media for performance. I wanted a social media, but normally me now, normally. I did do make, I've been makeup artist now, normally I said I to package myself. But I don't want to be that person where, you know, if I want to come on YouTube or want to come on social media, I have to wear a nice wig, I have to do all this. No, that's, that's because that's not my everyday life. I said this thing to share my everyday life. I wanted to be relatable to people. I wanted people to see me and look like, ah, because there are times I post video, somebody can comment that, ah, my son does this. Oh, Prudence, ah, I can relate with it. I wanted to be relatable. I don't wake up in the morning and my mouth is brushed at once when I get up from my bed. I don't go to shower immediately unless I'm going to work. Even when I'm going to work, if I go see the other things before I go into up. You know, but it felt like there was a certain profession people were expecting of me so for example even when i go to share all oh, this is what we're going through so many people just and i feel like it, it was not making me wary of sharing because i was i was not becoming anxious of or getting scared of the kind of you know feedback i may get from the video it was not making me very very careful of the kind of things that i share but <laughs> I, I want to share without borders 
I want to share without anybody having to. Of course, there will be trolls, there will be this, there will be that, yeah. But, but then, I, I don't share my life to be judged. So I was not in that place that I felt like, oh, there's a constant one negative message or the other. And, and sometimes I don't pay attention to them, but I realized I was paying more attention to them. And it was making me, you know, a certain way. And I, well, I didn't like the person that that was going to make me become. And I'm like, you know what, just step back a bit. Um, I didn't join this thing to perform. So this is also me putting it out there. If you're expecting me to perform, to be a certain way, to, to just, I'm, I'm not the, like I always say, I, I'm not the regular content creator. I am not that person, I, I will not perform. I will only share my experience, share what I think is relatable. I will share my everyday life. That's, that's what this is about. That is what it is for me. Yes, there's money, it will come as a plus, but it's something I'm passionate about, something I love to do. It's something that I want to do and not hold back. I want to share with you guys holistically and not hold back. I don't, I don't want to, 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 to not be hiding. No, I don't want, I don't want it that way. You know, and also with my study, I realized that I, me that will study before coming on social media because I started that study before you know, your social media a lot I was doing on my stories. I realized that many times I would have posted on Instagram, say, oh, come and study. Or I would have gone to just say, oh, have you read your Bible today? So I was alerting people. And at the end of the day, I was not doing my study in a hurry because as I opened the app, I don't scroll, 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 scroll. And no, that's not what that, I, 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 I don't want, I'm not sure God has called me to make social media take me off what it's called me for you know so god has given me a ministry that i have to do with people but i don't think he wants me to lose myself in the in, in the process so i was and many times i also realized that i was studying to share instead of actually studying for fellowship so i'm like you know what just take time you know back and i'm thankful for the gift of the holy spirit that will always remind me when i'm going off Correct me and for the men that God has put in my life, you know, my teachers, Pastor Shimon and Pastor Barry, um, I'm just very, very thankful for them. Always, you know, the voice of reasoning, prudence, no, no, no. And this season, they've just really been there for me, there for Kay, you know, uh, pointing us in the right direction, correcting us, and just, you know, letting us know that you know the word of God. Don't forget it in this season. So, yeah, that's it. We've moved. It's a lovely environment. I really, really love the area. There's a very nice Aldi just out there. A few minutes walk. Not so far from middle school as well. So we're beginning to settle in gradually um, into the place. And we really, really love it. The kids are doing well. Kay is doing well. He's currently doing his dissertation. Um, graduation is, is in sight. Like I, I told him that by the time you finish this, your school. They go bless and me graduate because that mean funny enough, that's also something I'm going to talk about that where we, we really, really really accept where we are. You know, we accept this is my reality now, this is where I'm accepting where we are. You are a student, you are students, there no pressure. Uh -huh, you know, so yeah. Thank you guys for all those that reached out to me, all those that called me. You know, there are things, there are certain things that I cannot really talk about that that happened, you know, with family and everything. But um, super thankful um, that we're all doing well. Thankful, my parents, my family, everyone is well. Glory to God, which is such a big testimony that God did for us. Um, yeah, so thank you for the calls, for checking up on me. If I didn't re respond to you, it wasn't intentional. I was on a do not disturb mode. You know, I will always respond, you know. But thank you guys. God bless you. May God honor you. May God, ha you know, send you people that will always, you know, have you in mind. That their thoughts for you are always good. In Jesus' name, amen. So, welcome to, I'm back, I'm back to vlogging. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love always from Prudence Apinoko. Stay blessed. Don't forget to stay with God's word. God loves you and I love you. Bye, guys. <laughs>